All right, guys, so I've been ordering parts. Let's see what we got in here. I have no idea. Maybe tail lights? See a bolt. Got the connector on the side. I guess I should probably read what I'm ordering. No idea why. <laughs> Those are there, but who knows? Maybe it'll work out better. So these were eBay purchased. Obviously, I don't know if these used or they new. They look new. But this looks like they're used. Oh, well. they're in good shape. So those will go down there. I also <laughs> look at this ridiculous pile of stuff. I've just been going through. All this stuff is under the hood or in the bed of the truck. Um, so there is uh, some like, you know, pretty good size cable, maybe two gauge for the winch running from the front to the back, but it was dangling. We've got some old ass fuel lines. Just everything was cobbled together. So, taking all this stuff off, I ordered some new lights for the front corner. And uh, what else was there? Oh, there was a dip, a yeah, part of a dipstick tube was in there. There was uh, just 40 years of wiring. And some of this I might be able to reuse, like the battery terminals. You can probably reuse some of that. Some of these. I don't know about these wires. They seem pretty... Where are we? There we are. I don't know. We'll see. So, I uh, cleaned most of this out. I'm going to vacuum the dash. You can see there's still stuff up there. <clears throat> the uh, hood liner, or the... Ceiling's fallen down. I uh, haven't gotten under the dash yet. Did have a mount here for a CB, which that made me think. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know what? I haven't looked in here. Oh, there's uh, acorns. There we go. Much better. So <laughs> there's acorns in there. So I'm sure the wiring is just absolutely phenomenal. Oh, isn't that cute? Uh, so I went to the little port store, got some antifreeze because it was empty. We'll see where the leaks are. Got some oil, some more oil. Uh, the remain seal is leaking, so I don't know if I'm going to try this or not. Uh, fuel filter. We got a new fuel line to come off the fuel pump. We've got some vacuum lines. Uh, we got some little plugs. Some T connectors. We just have some. Uh, there's another light bulb to try to get the other amber light. That one right there working. So we'll try that. These are for the front corner lights. I got these guys. Pretty cheap. Off the old internet. Let's see, if I can, let's see if I can do this. So uh, I did decide to try to get something new. So these are cab lights. So they're black, but they light up amber. So, pretty cool. It does come with the switch and stuff. I don't know. We'll see about wiring that. Uh, I also went through the garage. Hold on, let me go to the other side. So I went through the garage. I started finding stuff for other projects. So I've got uh, a lot of these lights I have uh, red, amber, and then I think these up here, yeah, and then clear ones. I've got a uh, trailer hitch, 
wiring harness, so I'll need to hook up a, get a proper trailer hitch, and I also have a bunch of wiring. This was for supposed to be wire to wire up this trailer. So this guy. So the plan with the the Jeep trailer is going to be something to pull behind the Jeep for camping. And I want to cut it there and cut it there and extend it. And I've got some more corner pieces uh, to go up there and to round it off and extend it out. I'll try to make it six feet so I can sleep in it if I want. So we'll see. That's another project, another day. But I did steal a bunch of stuff from it. So I've picked up a bunch of other parts. I've got most of the body pieces. There's fenders. Uh, there's the grill. I think I have everything but a top, doors, and windshield. And pardon all the mess, we are fully renovating our house right now. And there's part of the Dana 60. But we also have stuff for the trailer. So we've got shackles, shackle mounts, a uh, some chains. We've got the hitch. I've got a couple lights up there. And yeah, so too many projects, not enough time. So I am not a Ford guy. And oh, these are the lights I'm going to replace. So they obviously were painted over. I do have the lenses four out of five. So if anybody wants them, let me know. I'll sell you. I want to find the, uh, the big rig style mirrors that go right here. That would totally fit the 1970s profile. But I'm trying to figure out exactly... Is this an F100 or is this an F100 put on another truck chassis? So it's got pretty good sized brakes, dual pistons on both sides. Uh, it's got a 351 in it. I think it's a 351. And the rear axle, right there, it's got a three speed with a, or actually a four speed because it's got a granny gear. And then uh, the rear axle, let me show you that. So here's the back of it. It has helper springs on it. It's got a one ton rear end. That's probably a Dana 60 or 70. The frame is a C channel, so it's not boxed. But man, some of this stuff is really worn out. Oh, we'll have to get under here and get rid of all this rust. I want to kind of keep the patina, but at the same time, I kind of want to fix it up. So I don't know. We'll see how I end up doing or how I end up messing with it. There's this sketchy little toe thing that's just booger welded onto this sheet of diamond tread. I did put some temporary bolts in here. I realize this thing is upside down, so this should flip over and be backwards so this should be on this side but it looks like this center the center um, piece of pipe right here tubing whatever it is that's uh, some grease I sprayed on it and when they did the booger weld there and there this one right here actually welded it solid so I'm gonna have to cut those out take this all apart re-weld that um, gonna finish getting all the bolts the right size bolts you can see that one is uh, bigger than that one and work on getting these loose but you know right now it's just about trying to piece it together and see what I have the uh, so this whole winch mechanism is pretty cool you can see I got it sketchy hung up there right here is a spot for the battery in the back which the I think they had tied together in series or parallel sorry and I've yanked everything out except for you know this wire which does that go I don't even know where that goes I'll have to get underneath and look um, but it's electric there's the solenoids obviously I have to change those out I'll tear this whole guy apart, but I at least want to put a little grease in it. And the 
the place of solenoids and maybe see if I can get it to work. Just at least reel the cable in. Maybe even figure out how to do it manually. Oh, <laughs> you like this. The chain, the infamous, the chain holds this down on the frame up here. What a turd. <laughs> I'll probably put some, uh, I guess, some work lights that I have uh, for the Jeep. One of the Jeeps, I don't know. I just bought them because they were cheap. The, uh, and also, I haven't looked at it. So, this ties off over here comes to this pulley, comes back, and then goes down, and I want to say either this or this, I don't want to pull it. Let's see if I can look in there. Holy jeez, look at that tiny little pin. Yeah, we'll have to change that out. God, that's so tiny. Dude. How this thing, maybe this thing did put someone, maybe I should call this Christine. So, okay. So it's got some mechanisms there. Grease fitting. So I have to look at how this works. Let's see. Oops, I didn't clean that out. I'll get out here with a pressure washer. So I've got some ideas on uh, cool stuff kind of make this a fun tailgate machine wow that pin doesn't even go all the way through I just can't make this stuff up <clears throat> this is where the other light goes so yeah let me show you the engine did order some new switches and relays and stuff I hit the parking brake and it seemed to set. Oh, here's some more. My god, the wiring. Everything on this thing. I think I found the, uh... Shithole. Uh, that's the ignition. Uh, where's my finger? Down there. Don't think it was meant for a truck. Anyways, I don't know what I was saying. Let me show you the engine. Oh, seat belts. I want to try to put some three points in it. But I don't know if this uh, this roof will take that structurally. So if anybody's done that conversion, let me know. And uh, these seats, I don't know what the hell they're from. Maybe an expedition or something or another truck. Ah, under the hood. So, uh, this is kind of cobbled up. These are just all extra wires that were running to the back. Um, this ignition module looks relatively new. I cut the pigtail off. Ran some random wires along here up to the distributor and half-ass cobbled that together with the ignition coil. Uh, over here I started taking all the electrical tape off of it so I can follow these wires. There's just a ton of just what were you smoking wiring going on. Pull a lot of the vacuum lines. I don't know how old. It's pretty dry rotted. So I might. It might be okay. I don't know. I might need new hoses. The alternator was just kind of held in there with like half a bolt. That was about it. This is rotted out, so I'll have to weld some metal in there. And of course, <laughs> the best part, because it was a repo truck, I would assume. Um, but I really, really want to know, is this chassis an F100, or is it not? I don't know. I don't know how to tell. It is C-channel all the way to the front. It's got power steering, power brakes. Um... Yeah, so build a front bumper for it. It is leaking like a sieve. Anywho, ramble, ramble, ramble. If you have any ideas on what this might be, let me know. Alright, see you next time.